family where my father is an artist, he's a sculptor, Denny Pritchard. And so I grew up in his studio seeing him sculpt and um, I, was, I was just amazed how I could stand and I remember just watching his hands forming clay and I just looking at it as these little kid eyes just seeing artwork just forming out of his hands which is this beautiful experience it filled my whole being I was just so amazed at how this could be and the same when I was standing behind my dad's shoulder and he would be making a little pencil sketch of a little a little steenbok or something like that I just just remember I just had this giggles that came up in my heart giggles of joy <laughs> as a little kid and that's how the whole journey started and uh, i just always loved paintings and loved sculptures and loved the whole world of it and my father saw me drawing a lot as a youngster making sketches on a saturday morning i would be and they wake up i've been lying there making little sketches and he just said i'm going to send you to art school that's how my whole journey began uh, when I got to art school, I went to Pro Arte, which was uh, Art Berlin Music School at that time in, in Pretoria. And I just remember feeling like a fish in, in, in water, just uh, knowing that this is the place that I needed to be. And, you know, not long after I joined the school, I knew art was my career and that was going to be my life. And I studied graphic design after school. Uh, painting was my first love, but I didn't know that I could make a living out of that. And uh, eventually the road to my life just led me in that way that uh, I started just painting rather than doing graphic design because I studied graphic design, but it never really, I never really felt that confidence that when I was behind a, uh, an easel and I've got a painting, my heart is right, and my confidence is there. And that's when I decided, okay, I'm going to take this and the mural culture started so that I got involved into the mural culture and my life progressed and I started getting into the fine art industry because I grew up uh, in fine art galleries and seeing my father exhibiting and that's the life I knew so I went into the fine art world and I started doing portraiture and and doing all of that and started painting paintings of my own, figurative work. And uh, then uh, was the situation only around about my 40s when uh, my career was just nicely lifting off and I was enjoying uh, the galleries that uh, I was getting, sort of finding my feet in the galleries where I wanted to be. And things just started looking good. And then that's the time that everything changed when I moved to the Cape and I felt basically I didn't know at the time but the Lord was intervening and uh, he stopped me basically my whole career as an artist came to a standstill because I paint from my heart and because I paint from my heart I can't carry on painting what I used to paint because the Lord came and turned everything upside down in my life I allowed him I just saw a new answer to, to life because life did not make that sense to me anymore. When I got into my 40s, uh, I wondered, why do I wake up in the morning? Everything just about making ends meet and then eventually one day you die. It's, it's you know, the, I think the Lord put in my heart the yearning to, to want more. And uh, then when I had that call from the Lord, I said yes. And I came and followed Him. And only when I started uh, really following his word through circumstances that happened in my life I could see and feel uh, how the spiritual side of things was was twisting a whole new reality into my life one that I could see this word of God is is real and what he's all on about is real and all the things that the Bible says this is how it is and that's how it's going to be it is and that's how I experienced it. So I cannot say it wasn't a thing of I was searching for faith. Faith was there because I saw it actively 
happening in my life. And so then I got a call from the Lord uh, to paint Christian work. I felt the Lord showed me that I, I should continue giving art classes and he showed that I should paint. And uh, But I didn't know what to paint. And then he, he showed me to the, the Christian art world to get involved there. That opened up a whole world to where I am now.